CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.5, Given a Scenario, Manage and Configure Basic Security Settings in the Microsoft Windows OS. NTFS vs. Share Permissions. When managing files and folders in a Windows environment, you will need to understand the difference between NTFS permissions and share permissions. Both play a role in determining who can access and modify your data, but they apply in different contexts. Let's dive into what each type of permission does and how they work together to control access. NTFS permissions control access to files and folders on locally stored drives, formatted with the NTFS or new technology file system. These permissions dictate what users can do with the files and folders, whether they're on a local machine or shared over the network. NTFS permissions apply no matter how a file or folder is accessed, making them particularly important for data security. The basic NTFS permissions include read, allowing users to view the contents of a file or folder, but not modify it, write, giving users the ability to modify and save changes, read and execute, which enables users to view and execute files, list folder contents, allowing users to see the names of files and subfolders within a folder, modify, which combines read, write, execute, and delete capabilities, and finally, full control, granting users complete authority over files, including the ability to modify permissions. In contrast to NTFS permissions, share permissions control access to files and folders shared over a network. These permissions are applied to shared folders and determine what network users can do when accessing these folders remotely. The basic share permissions are read, allowing users to view and open files but not modify or delete them, change, which grants users the ability to read, modify, and delete files, and full control, which gives users the highest level of access including managing share permissions. It's important to remember that share permissions apply only when accessing resources over the network. If files or folders are accessed locally, only NTFS permissions come into play. When both NTFS and share permissions are in place, the most restrictive permission between them will apply. For example, if a user is accessing a file remotely and has full control through share permissions but only read access when it comes to NTFS permissions, they will only be able to read the file. In addition to permissions, files and folders in Windows have attributes that control how they behave. Common attributes include read-only, which allows files to be viewed but not modified, and hidden, which hides files from normal view unless the option to display hidden items is enabled. These attributes add an extra layer of control, beyond basic permissions. Another important concept is inheritance, which simplifies permission management. When you set permissions on a folder and have inheritance enabled, those permissions are automatically inherited by all subfolders and files within that folder. This is helpful for managing large folder structures, because it eliminates the need to manually apply permissions to each file or subfolder. For instance, if you have a folder with read permissions, any new subfolder created within it will inherit the same read permission. Understanding the differences between NTFS permissions and share permissions is crucial for managing file security in a Windows environment. NTFS permissions apply both locally and over the network, while share permissions control access for remote users. When both are used, the most restrictive permissions will take precedence. Combine this with file attributes and inheritance, and you have a powerful set of tools to fine-tune access and ensure the security of your data. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.